I'll show you how to use the ball from your back. Just kind of work on your uh, reflexes uh, and your coordination between lower body and upper body. That, I know that confuses a lot of beginners. They get so caught up with what's going on with their arms, they forget what's going on with their legs. You know what I'm saying? You get so caught up with the gicho, they forget about your half guard or whatever. Or vice versa, you get so caught up with your half guard, what's going on with your leg work, that you confuse the arm work. And, and I see it happen all the time. And this little drill I'll show here is really good to help you kind of fuse your lower and upper body and just become one with that. Yeah. So uh, it's basically just, you know, like uh, you ever see a seal playing with the ball and shit, passing it on to my path and stuff. Right? And I'm going to switch between my hands here, and then I'll start adding my, my legs into the place. So I'll put it on my shins, I'll put it here on my knees. And if you look at this, you get like a little... See this? This will teach you how to be delicate, right? You don't always have to be aggressive. Sometimes you got to be like technical and precise. So I learned how to let it slide here, and you can catch it. Boom, right? There's a few things I do. So I'm switching between my hands. You see I put it on my knees, right? I want to catch up my feet. There's another one, right? And like I said, I'll switch between the four of them now. So I'll go foot, hand, hand, foot, foot, foot. And this is just really good to kind of get your reflexes, right? Get you quick to, to respond when something's coming at your face, you catch it fast. Or when something's coming towards your feet, you catch it when you have to, right? And just switching and being a little keep it playful, heat on racing style, you know what I'm saying? Just playing, up, playing here. And, and another thing you can add, okay, is the spins. I put my foot in spin, so between all this, you know, I'm spinning, I'm moving, I'm working my high guard, you know, I'm working my control, my stability, my reflexes. Right? And it's just something you can do a little bit. My guard work here. But here's another one you can do, let's go. This is all stuff I just kind of messed with. The other thing, your back rolls, okay? It's like put the ball, put the ball. You can use it for like knee belly. Get up. Do that one again, closer to me, so you end up a little closer. So it's like here, huh? Yeah. Right about here? Yeah. And then I go, think about this one. It's going to land me belly. Just some of the things you can do off of your back here, right? With the ball. There's a lot. I mean, I'm probably, you probably show this to some kid and he'll create 20 new moves here that I didn't even think about, right? But it's just one of my more favorite, favorite things to do here. It's gonna work. So that's just some of the stuff on the back. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I, I covered that in like, what, two and a half minutes? But you could play with that for hours. You know what I'm saying? So that'll be that'll be step one. It's learning how to use the ball for back movement on the back, which is jujitsu, right? Yeah. All of it's gonna help your balance. Yeah. Yes. But but I, I want because I show a lot of stuff from the top on top of the ball, and that's important too. But remember, jujitsu man, what separates us from the wrestlers is our guard. We work off our back. So so don't forget to spend for as much time as you guys spend here doing all the stuff I'm gonna show you now. On top, spend as much time on the bottom as well doing this stuff. It's often overlooked, I think, when people play around with the ball, is how to move around on your back with that. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. There's rolls, there's you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm just, just freestyling a little bit, you know? Combining that with some of the other stuff I do. Okay.